What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 514. In this episode, I'll discuss mannitol extravasation. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 514. When given as a bolus, mannitol is an osmotic diuretic that does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Mannitol lowers intracranial pressure by osmotically drawing free water out of the brain and into circulation where it can be eliminated. If given as a continuous infusion, mannitol will eventually cross the blood-brain barrier and have no effect on intracranial pressure. This osmotic effect means that if even a small amount of mannitol extravasates, it can pull a large volume of free water with it and quickly turn into a compartment syndrome. Serious consequences of mannitol extravasation have been reported, including compartment syndrome in a patient's forearm that required surgical treatment. A case report in the journal Anesthesia and Analgesia describes the successful use of hyaluronidase to prevent complications from mannitol that had extravasated into a patient's hand. 150 units of hyaluronidase was mixed in 10 mLs normal saline using a 25 gauge needle. Multiple sub-Q injections anywhere from half to 1 mL were performed around the periphery of the extravasation. The hand was examined every hour, and the swelling diminished after six hours and was completely resolved by the next day. To access my free download area with 20 different resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.